Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will be talking about what is Power Apps. So basically I thought to start a series of videos on Power Apps from zero to hero which will help you if you have not started your journey with Power Apps yet. So let's get started. So if I talk about Power Apps, so it's a suite of apps which consist of various services, connectors and data platform which allows you and which gives you an opportunity to build custom apps for your business needs. So you can very quickly build apps using Power Apps and those are custom business apps that connects your business data that can be stored either in Microsoft Dataverse or in various online or on-premise data sources for example uh, just a basic example in your Excel or in Microsoft SharePoint or in OneDrive or in Office 365. So there are two types of apps which can be created in Power Apps. One is the Canvas apps or the model driven apps. So in this video series we will be primarily talking about Canvas apps and when we move towards the intermediate level and then to the advanced level then we will talk about model driven apps as well. So let's get started first of all what is Canvas apps. So Canvas apps they help business power users to create custom business apps across platforms using Excel and PowerPoint skills. So what you have to do is you have to just connect to the data and system you already using and various uh, data sources you can use for creating the canvas apps you can create apps you can create forms and you don't have to write the code this is a very important term without writing the code you are building the custom apps and those apps once those are built and developed using power apps those apps can be used on any device both web tablet any mobile devices so that is the power of canvas apps so in this video, as I mentioned, that we will we will be focusing mainly on the Canvas apps and going forward, we will be targeting the model driven apps as well. So what is the beauty of Canvas apps? Let's talk about very quickly that they allow you easy authoring by easy authoring that what you see is what you get. So you have full control over the design of your app, over the properties of the controls which you will be using in your app. So what you see is what you get. So you have the full control over the user experience. You can create app logic with the uh, familiar Excel like formulas or Excel like expressions. So it is very easy to create canvas apps in Power Apps. Now, if I talk about the connectivities, the various connectors, which allows you to connect to 200 plus cloud services, web APIs, databases, etc. So this is very much uh connectivity uh, if i talk about with the data sources both the cloud-based data sources or on-premise data sources so there is superb connectivity and there are multiple custom connectors also which you can create it is cross-platform as i mentioned that you can publish or share your apps instantly to ios to android devices to tablets and on the web as well Enterprise create management and control. So if I talk about the identity management, so all identities, all the user identities, they are managed through Azure Active Directory. So if I talk about the authentication and authorization in Power Apps, they are very much secure. Uh, various rich policies and multi-factor authentications are enabled to make your app very much secure. Amplify professional developer productivity so you can extend your apps by using custom code you can give, you can build uh, You can build custom connectors if you don't want to use any uh, you can say intermediate you can say the available uh, connectors which are available in power apps So basically means you can customize extend and build your apps which you need right so without any further ado, let's switch back to the Power Apps window where we'll be seeing that how you can start your journey with Power Apps. So this is the official website of Power Apps, powerapps.microsoft.com. I would recommend just have a look at this website. Just go through this link. There are various products which are available in this website. There are various pricing information. There are various testimonials, case studies. 
just go through them so that you can have a glimpse or the feel of the power apps that what are the different products which are available whether it's ai builder power automate processes is your connectivity with is your how you can connect the data and whether it's related to pricing so it's a very good starting point i will say to start your journey your career with power apps once you have gone through this site i will recommend that you must have a office 365 account or you can say microsoft 365 account whether it's e3 or e5 you can even start your journey with a free trial version which microsoft allows you to create so i am in my uh, admin center this is my office 365 admin account and i am in the admin center where you can see all the admin centers and one of them is power apps i just want to clarify one thing over here that when i say admin center so this is although mentioned power apps but this is the admin center for the power platform so if i click on it you will be navigated to a screen which will allows you to have a control for the power platform product suite of products precisely which includes power automate as well but in this video series i will be talking about completely about power apps so let's start our journey with the power apps this is the power app screen i have logged in with my account you can see my account here the account information vipul chain okay and this is the you can say a power apps home page or power apps screen which allows you to create a canvas apps uh, in power apps right so to start with i'll talk about a little bit very quickly about environment that what this environment is it is showing me as of now the default environment where i am currently building or developing the custom apps you can have multiple environments as well like for the uh, staging environment you at environment and the production environment so you you have to get in touch with your uh, cloud management team or maybe the it team who are managing these cloud services precisely power apps and just make sure that while creating the apps you are uh, means linked to which particular environment whether you are creating the app for the staging environment so your staging environment should be checked over here so this is all about the environment now if i talk about the home screen of power apps right so it allows you to start the power apps or to create the power apps right you can create from from a template from a blank canvas app or you can uh, go through these beginner level uh, videos as well which are available in the power apps home page so in this particular video i am going to uh, show you that how you can start your journey by creating a basic canvas app from the blank okay so i'm just clicking on it it asks you to create a canvas app from blank i'm just giving a name let's say demo app okay i need it for tablet let's say no problem at all i just click on create so what it will do it it is getting the things ready it is getting the canvas app ready for me and now you can see the app has been ready it is saying me welcome to the power app studio here are a few ways to start building an app from blank i i want to skip this step as of now okay now you can see the screen here this screen is divided basically into three parts so before moving on this screen and explaining anything let's switch back to the ppt again where we will see the key concepts or the uh, you can say the key uh, building blocks power, power apps building blocks which will be very helpful to start your journey with power apps okay so this is the power apps home page this is just a screenshot which i have added the url is on your screen make.powerapps.com so if you navigate to this screen you will see the left hand side uh, navigation and at the center you will see that you can create the apps you can create a blank canvas app or a blank model driven app right also you can see that you can create the app from the other data sources as well so we'll look all these things in the upcoming videos please be tuned please be with me and we will see that how you can enhance your journey and enhance your career with power apps so power app studio next is power app studio the screen which i showed you uh, just a few seconds before where the screen was divided into three parts the left the center and the properties window so we'll talk about the power app studio in detail in this video then the power app studio parts that what are the different parts in the power apps canvas screen so this is very interesting to know and i have marked all the uh, you can say key components of this screen by numbering so on the first this left navigation bar so on the left hand side you can see this is the navigation bar 
the middle pane is the middle pane where you actually build or create your uh, app in, in canvas power apps or you can say this is the user experience the visual visualization of your app right hand pane is the third number third number is the right hand pane where you can set the ids we can set the properties for the specific or the different controls which you are using in your app fourth one is property uh, drop down list so these are the properties of the controls which you can use formula bar is the fifth one the formula bar where you can write the different excel based or excel like i will say excel like expressions or formulas for your controls in the in your uh, power apps app the sixth one is the ribbon at the top you can see the ribbon breadcrumb navigation breadcrumb navigation is definitely there at the below you can see the breadcrumb navigation and the preview button this is super important and we will be using it uh in our while creating in our app so this is the preview screen or the preview button or you can just press f5 as well so another another key component of power apps is power apps mobile which is available for windows ios and android and i've just given the links over here so you can just refer them Microsoft Platform Admin Center, I've already talked about that. This is a Microsoft Platform Admin Center, which allows you to administer the Power Apps, Microsoft Flow, Common Data Services for apps. Okay, now switch back to the Power Apps screen again. So here we are. So we created the app. Now I will tell you the key components of this particular screen. This is your first app. You will be developing it for the first time, right? So to understand all the key components or key features of this screen is super important to start your journey for power apps or i will say with power apps so to start with screen so this is the screen you can see screen one this is the by default screen which is given by power apps and you can navigate between screen and components i will come to components what are uh, components and how you can add them on the screen so basically this is the tree view from where you can navigate and if you want to now insert any controls so there is a plus sign on the left hand side from where you can insert the different controls on your power apps screen right so it allows you to add multiple controls common of them are text or let's say text input or rectangle or button or date picker and so on right at the same time you can also insert the controls which are very common controls from the top screen like label button text from the top also you can add the controls and from this insert button on the left hand side you can also add the controls now switching back again to the tree view now let's say if i want to add a control let's say i, I want to add a label okay so label is not visible here so let's click on the text label so it will allow you to add the text label i have added a text label here now let's say i want to add a date picker okay so you can add the date picker uh, control also on your screen now if i want to preview my control preview my uh, power app that what i have created so you can just click on the preview button or, or you can enter press 5 f5 as well so you will see the preview of your app right now if i want to add how i can add this app right so you can go to file and the name is correct if you want to change the name uh, you can change the name and this is getting saved to the cloud right so just hit save button and it will get saved in power apps in the cloud so we are just waiting for this power app to getting saved now once this power app has been saved right you can see the date on which it has been saved now you can share it with your peers or with your customers who want to use this app or for whom you have built this app right so this is the share share screen where uh, you can just write the name and search for that particular name or the user and then you can press on the share button at the same time there is a web link which is available which you can share and if you hit this on the chrome browser so you can see your app which you have created okay all right so let's navigate to our app which we created so we created the demo app 02 just let's preview it this was the preview which was there so let's come to the app screen now again so what we did here that we talked about the screens the tree view how you can insert the controls right in your power apps now let's insert one more control uh, for example uh, image control let's say for an instance
So I have just added an image control here and you can just expand it. You can also change it via properties. And if I want to add an image, if I want to add an image that how can I add an image over here? So what you can do is you can add an image file. And once you will add an image file, it will allow you, it will navigate to the image from where you can add the image. So let's say I want to add an image here. So now you see the image has been added. So that is how this is super simple to create any app in Power App. You can definitely change the height, width, position, sizing, pattern, which we will all see in the subsequent videos. So if I navigate again back to my screen, right? So this was a screen which I created. So I added an image control, I added an image control, I added a date picker control, and I added a label control. So three controls in this particular video we have added on this Canvas app. So again, let's save, save our work. So I have saved it. I'm just saving it, the demo app which I created. I can publish it so that the latest version is available. All right, I believe till here we are good. Now the last piece which I want to show you in this video is about the components. So what are components now? You can see screen, you can see the components, but what are components and what helps it gives you when you create the Power Apps, right? So we will see that power now. So let me minimize this here. Okay, now component. Component are just like reusable components, you can say. It. So I am just creating a component in front of you. The component name is already added by default, which is component one. So let's say uh, I just want to add a rectangle here. Okay. And let's say I've added a rectangle in this component and uh, let's say change the color of this particular component. So I've added a rectangle control in this component. Let's switch back to the tree view. Okay, we are in the component. In the component, you can add the multiple controls. Now, what component helps you? Components, it's just like a kind of a, a you can say, if you are creating an enterprise level of a custom app, so it's a reusable components. That's why we say it as components which you can reuse on your screens. Okay, now let me show you that how you can add that component which you have recently added. So the name of the component is component one. Okay. Now, how you can insert this component in your particular Canvas app screen. So what you have to do is that you just click on insert. Okay. Now, there are various categories of the controls which are available. You can see popular, custom, input, display, layout, media, and so on. Correct. So if you have created a component, so that gets always visible in the custom category. So now you can see here in the custom category, I have a one component visible or you can say available to be get added. So let's click on it. And you see here the component is added on my screen. I am on the screen. You see here, I am on the screen. I'm not in the components tab. I'm on the screen tab and I have the components added in my screen. Now what will happen if I make any changes in the component, it will automatically get reflected on my screen as well. Right? Because this is a reusable component which I can add anywhere in on any screen because that is a component which I have created. And if any changes are made to the component, any changes which are made to the component that will get automatically reflected on your screen. So let's check that as well. So now on the component, let's say I want to add, uh, for example, a button. Okay. So I have added a button. Okay. Now let's go back to our screen. Now you see here, I have not added this button on the screen, but since I have added this on my component, the button is automatically added on my screen as well. Right? So let's save this app. Publish it so that we have the latest version. So this has been saved and published. And now let's check the preview. All right. So we are good. So you can see we have added a text label, we have added a date picker, we have added an image control. And at the same time, I've showed you in this particular video that how you can add a component or I will say precisely a reusable component, which you can add on your screen. So that's all for this video. Please stay tuned with me. I have created this zero to hero series of power apps to enable and empower you 
with your Power Apps journey.